Hi guys, welcome back to our tutorial series on how to make a picture-in-picture -picture video that with stunning filters and follows the beat. In our previous two videos, we've introduced how to quickly sync video to the music beat and how to quickly create a part one and a part two. In case you need, you can click on the upper corner to watch that two tutorials. In today's video, let's take a look at how to make the last part of the picture-in-picture -picture effect and what are the differences between these parts and the previous two. Let's dive in! Open Video Prog Flagger. Take a click to enter the project we saved for last time. First, let's import the video. Drag it onto video track. Cut to keep only the needed part. Make this video and the music ends at the same point. Next, let's go to the inspector panel on the upper right to find the transform section. Scale down the video to add a cinematic touch. Now we can start to create changes in filters. First, let's click on the color icon on the toolbar to enter the color in the filter editor panel. We can find a number of stunning filters. Let's select the one that looks retro. After that, Click on Apply to go back to the main interface. Use the shortcut Ctrl and C to copy this video. Paste onto three different overlay tracks. The logic of editing part 3 is the same as editing the previous two parts. We adjust the star position of these videos based on the music beat. After editing the video to the beat, we want the last video to get different colors than the previous three, so we select it. Hit the color. Here we get a reset all icon. Click on it to clear all the filters we've applied. Next, we can go to the right side to customize the parameters. Boost the exposure to make the subjects of the video look clear. Increase the contrast and the saturation to give the video a more professional touch. Keep adjusting other parameters. Give it caution. We should make the effects of this filter look not too different from the filters we've applied previously. So move the tint slider towards the green color. That can bring us the natural changes in the color. Next, instead of using a crop tool, we take the effects filter to make something different effects from the last two parts. Go to the upper left and enter the effects section. Find a circular mask effect. It's different from the mask effect that we've used, but still shares similarities. Thus, it's a perfect option. Drag it onto the effect track. Adjust its duration to make it align with this clip. Next, let's come over to the inspector panel. Go to the properties section. Drag the slider to adjust the volume of gradient. That can bring us desired outcome. In the same way, we can use the shortcut Ctrl and C to make a copy of that. Add a same effect for the following clip. The difference is, this time we readjust the volume of gradient to create a sense of change. Last, to make the mask gradually cover the screen, we need to copy the used mask effect and paste it here. 
based on our need, adjust its properties. In addition, we can add a text elements to this part by clicking text on the subtitle track. Copy the text and paste it over here. Adjust its position and the duration. Then we go to the inspector panel and adjust the content. That's all for adding the text. By putting multiple clips with a variety of effects, we can get our final work that looks like this. Alright, that's all for today's tutorial. If you want to know something more about the picture-in-picture -picture effect or other topics, just leave your comments here. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in our next tips. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.